Second season as skipper, how do you think it's gone as a whole? Up and down really. Um, I'd, I'd like to say congratulations to Gateshead actually because I think they're the team that stood out for me really this season. Um, so fair play to them, the job that the manager's done there. So, But for us, uh, yeah, it's been a mixed season. Obviously the start of the season didn't help. Um, if we'd have picked up even three or four points, it'd have been a big help. Um, but that's because we had to rebuild and hopefully the gaffer doesn't have to do the same again this season. Yeah, because after that sort of first 10 games, it started to gel, didn't it, quite well for probably 10 games or so. Yeah, and I'll say, I'll say it all the time to the lads, it's hard to get consistency out of young players because as you get more mature and more experienced, that's when you start to get consistent performances. and. Obviously, that's what we've been lacking this year. We've maybe won one, drew one, and then lost one, and then go on a bit of a run, and then lose a couple of games. And you've got to be a consistent team if you want to be successful. And we just haven't quite reached those heights of being consistent this season. Obviously, you've lost key players at, with Mazzi, Arturiard, and I go and also the likes of Miles Story being out injured at a key time of the season as well. That hasn't helped either, has it? I think that was a massive, massive. I wouldn't say turning point, but that was a massive hindrance to us, really, not replacing those players. But that's what we've had to deal with, and so be it. Um, main thing is the club's stable financially, and that's that's the main thing. And how, how have you, as yourself, enjoyed leading the side for a season for the last two years? Obviously, it's an honour to, to be captain of such a big football club. It is. Um, obviously, it's frustrating at times when you lose, and then... It's obviously the best thing in the world when you, when you win games. Um, so again, it's up and down emotionally, but we've got some fantastic players in the squad, and hopefully, like I just said, we can keep the majority of them. And today, um, sort of Gates has showed at times why they're champions. I mean, Langstaff going up front, he was really sharp and quick, wasn't he? And um, does that sort of show you the difference, maybe, between? Yeah, but they were very good, and I think they deserve to be promoted automatically. But football's a funny game. I've been in it long enough to know that confidence is a massive thing. And when you've got that little bit of a little bit of gold dust that they they're that confident that they try things that probably a team mid table wouldn't try. So they're playing at the peak of their confidence. So they're going to be a good team. Um, we didn't hit the heights today that we have done this season. But like I said, fair play to Gate said. Well, there was a time in that game, probably 10, 15 minutes where you thought maybe Hereford would get back in the game just before they score the second and after the Hereford oh, call back. Oh yeah, of course. The, the, the standard's not... We're not miles away from like the other teams that are... Well, Gateshead and, and the likes of Brackley and that. We're not miles away at all. Like I just said, it's about consistent performances. And if we can put a consistent performance together for 90 minutes, we compete with them every weekend. And the gaffer said, hopefully you'll be returning next season for Hereford. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I, look, I, I love the club. I think it's a great club to be at. Um, I enjoy working under the gaffer and I enjoy the, the staff and that. And yeah, hopefully we can get it sorted. Yeah, I would remember memories like last Saturday scoring the equaliser in front of the meadow and probably helps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does, to be fair. Um, it was a great atmosphere last, last weekend. Um, and on the Monday, uh, but I just if we can get if we can get Edgar Street rocking, it's, it could be a fortress. But then that comes from us as well. We need to get we need to put the performances in to make the the fans get behind us, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get on the front foot next season and have a good start.